everyone, it's Katerina with Meat Field Living and we are in my kitchen again for another one of my test type recipes. Um, yes, I am aware I look completely different. Um, I got the extensions put back in my hair because I got tired of looking like Lord Farquaad with my bell haircut and, <laughs> you know, trying to grow your hair out. If you know, you know, that's not really important. Um, also, but you guys look at these glasses, check these out. So, you know, I'm always wearing my Hogwarts sweatshirt. Um, I need to find the rest of my Harry Potter clothes, but I'm a definite Harry Potter freak. And I got a pair of the pear glasses that have the Harry Potter. Ah, <laughs> tell me that's like also. Anyways, anyways, so uh, we are going to make today. We are going to make today a dupe of sorts for the Egg Life wraps. Now, I happen to love these Egg Life wraps. They're very clean. They're just egg whites, salt, xanthan gum. Um, and I think there's like a, a, there's something called Nissin, Nissin, N-I-S-I-N. It's a natural preservative. So, you know, they're pretty clean. Are they like the best? No. But they're also kind of expensive and they're hard to come by. Here in Colorado, I can find all the different flavors uh, at my Walmart, just about. But in Texas, I could only find this flavor, and it was only at Target, or I would have to order them online. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and try making it with simple ingredients and, um, you know, at home. See if we can do it. Um, yeah, see if we can do it. But first... But first, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see my lazy cat sunning himself uh, when it snowed, and he's over here having the grandest time. Ding! What are you doing? Are you hanging out? We got some snow, so he's loving the sun. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, it's so handsome. I should take a ring. Anyways, that was a quick cat break. So what you're gonna need is a griddle of some sort. If you have one of those crepe machines, I think that would be really cool, but I don't have that. Uh, so I have this preheated to 375. I'm actually going to put, I have some uh, beef tallow. Um, I actually made this. And um, I'm gonna have to do uh, a video. I needed to do it first to see if I could actually get it to work. I had followed a girl's video on YouTube and I'll link it down below. I can't remember what her name was, but she uh, rendered a bunch of uh, the fat and made her own tallow. And so I'm going to, you know, I strained this through cheesecloth and stuff and I'm gonna actually make some whipped tallow. I've been seeing a lot of people out there doing it. And I thought, oh, that'd be really nice for my dry skin. But I'm going to actually grease this with some of my homemade tallow. And even though this is not stick that way, I know they're not going to stick. Stick. The other thing we're going to use are some eggs, just the whites of the eggs, and some beef base. What is this? This is beef, uh, beef gelatin powder unflavored. And then I'm going to blend mine up in my little ninja bullet i'm going to turn the camera here so that you can see everything i'm going to blend it up in the ninja bullet because you want it to be nice and frothy so we're going to go ahead and get started okay so i'm going to do everything right in here uh just mix it up in my little bullet and i'm actually going to double the recipe it's actually three eggs to one tablespoon of this gelatin but i'm going to double it so that i can you know make a few more so, you know, that's not my strong suit. I'm going to actually save these yolks and make a mess. You guys don't judge me because, you know, I don't... Oh, oh, 
40. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I guarantee there's a better way to do this and there might even be a tool for it, but this is, this is how I do it. sit here and separate these six eggs and if you guys have a better way of doing this let me know I've seen those egg separator tools and I may have even I think one of them even came with my utensil set that I got but I don't know I haven't figured out really how to use it going to do two tablespoons of this beef gelatin. Again, it's three eggs to one tablespoon, but I went ahead and doubled the recipe. And I'm going to add to it, but you don't have to. Uh, there's a hair right there. Um, is just some salt. If you're doing other seasonings, you could do this as you know you could do everything but the bagel in here or cinnamon if you wanted to do a little bit of cinnamon I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt simply because I do like mine to have that and then I'm going to just blend this up It's pretty liquidy and um, it's gonna the gelatin's gonna thicken it up here and we're gonna go ahead and just get out a little bit of my tallow here I keep it in the refrigerator and it gets a little oh no a little uh, hard So we're going to go ahead and pour this out. I don't know, um, I'm going to have to like figure out a way to see if I can't like spread it out because I'm thinking you're probably going to want these pretty thin. You guys, there's probably a better way to do this, but you know what? I don't know what I'm doing, so we're just going to make this up as we go. Okay, look, don't really judge me on uh, this dumb stuff here. We're just going to let this... <laughs> 
We're going to let this cook until the edges start to come up a little bit. See how the, the edges are starting to curl up? They're probably okay. Oop, nope. And look, see, I even, I hit this with tallow and you hear how it's still sticking. Well, look at that. Obviously, that's not how you want to do it. That's a real winner right there. And these are definitely not shaped the way that I would like them. Obviously, Again, obviously this is a test kitchen recipe here. This is me trying stuff out and we're seeing how it's going to work. All right, we're going to take this guy off, and we're going to try this again. We're going to try it. We're trying it. Let's try this, see if this works. So these guys, I'm just gonna leave them right here. I'm just gonna keep letting them cook really good. Um, as of right now, I can tell you that I already ate both of those other <laughs> two that I made. Uh, so yeah, they are stinking delicious. My tripod broke, so I have to hold my camera, so I apologize. Oh my God, it's like a pancake. I made these a little thick. I probably should have gone a little thinner for them, but you know, we're just trying some stuff out here. Well, as my liquid habit, my tripod broke, so I'm trying to rig something up. So if this isn't great, I apologize. But look, these guys are done. Um, I let them cook a little long on the back, so they got a little crispy, but they are soft. Flexible. These are thicker than the other ones, but um, I think that I will just need to figure out a way to, like, I think if I had one of those crepe machines or those crepe things where you just like dip it in and then let it cook where it comes out really thin, I bet that would work out really great for these. Um, or maybe if I uh, cut the liquid a little bit so it was more liquid so I could spread it out. It was very, very frothy, so it didn't spread quite as easily. Or maybe even if I did them in a pan and rotated the pan. But I can tell you what, these turned out great. They taste like a pancake almost. They're so good. These are uh, 10 out of 10, I would recommend. Absolutely. They're very flexible. They're very, um, I put salt in them so mine tastes salty. But anyways, 10 out of 10, I would recommend those. I hope you got something out of that. I hope that it wasn't too much of a disaster. Um, like I said, 
I'm always trying to test things out, trying to, you know, stretch my boundaries because for me as a whole food, plant-based vegan, I almost never cooked anything, occasionally potatoes, sometimes rice, but as a rule, I just didn't really cook anything. So I'm constantly stretching my comfort skills in the kitchen and this is yet again, another one of those instances. So hopefully you got something out of it. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in and hopefully you will consider subscribing, liking, commenting if you have easier or better ways to separate eggs or ideas on this. I am all ears. Put it in the comments down below. I will put a link to this gelatin powder down below as well. Uh, it is an Amazon affiliate link, but if you want to use this exact one, I do believe you can get this in the stores, but I am not sure. Um, but I'm definitely, if you have anything or any advice or ideas, put them down below. If you have anything that you'd be interested in seeing me cook in the future, comment it down below. And if you have been here, um, if you've been along with me on this journey from the start, thank you again. I appreciate your support and your time. I love you all. And until next time, eat your meat.